Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, good to see you, good to be seen. I think you know I've been sick for, I don't know, maybe 10 plus days now. And turns out that the doctor said that I have, of all things, pneumonia. I don't think I've had pneumonia my entire life, but I'll tell you what, uh, I, I wasn't feeling well there for a good amount of time. I've been on a, a couple of antibiotics and actually I'm feeling better. And uh, but you can still hear something in my voice. I knew all this was coming. I mentioned in Miss Elvira like months ago that what will happen is we'll get through the summer with the COVID and then we're going to get to the fall and all of the flu season is going to come and the, you know, allergy season. And now people are not going to know what they have. And uh, so, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling better. Um, and I'm hearing reports of testing here around the church and many more are coming back negative. Praise the Lord. Whoop, whoop. Uh, many are coming back negative, and that's a good thing. So we're going to continue to pray for our church and continue to trust the Lord and continue to meet this coming Sunday, 10 a.m. We'll be down in the youth ministry building. We still have some uh, renovations going on here. And when you get back, you're going to be like blown away. It looked so good. And it's going to look good. You're going to be blessed. But in the meantime, we're going to be down there. I think we got maybe one more week, maybe two. We'll be in the youth ministry building. And uh, we will uh, continue our renovations up here. And I'll let you know when we're getting back up here. In the meantime, uh, we will be at one services. So one service, no children's ministry. Although you're welcome to sit in with your children. Also, we've actually had like uh, the prayer room. We actually... Uh, it's very nice now. We, we've got some uh, viewing available there in the prayer room, which is right next to that youth ministry sanctuary. So, um, yeah, that's more seating in there. I think that it's total social distance here. You know, we're keeping the place clean with the Santa sprayer and a mask available if you'd like to wear them. If you forget yours, we have one here for you. Uh, if you feel comfortable, please do that. If you're uncomfortable, there's no mask requirement here at Calvary Chapel. But again, uh, if you have comorbidities or underlying conditions, please be sure to stay home and take care of yourself. We want you to be healthy and we want you to come back to us real soon because we miss you tons. I'm going nuts. I'm missing people. So uh, be sure to do that this coming Sunday. Listen, all right, I've been praying and the Lord is kind of leading me. So let's just go with it. This coming Sunday, I'm going to talk to you about voting. I'm going to talk to you about the Christian responsibility. Do, do we have a responsibility uh, to vote? Should we get involved in the uh, process, in the democratic process? Or should Christians just kind of wait it out, pray, twiddle our thumbs, and hope for the best. You know, somebody said to me today, that would be like being on an airplane where the cockpit is being overrun, where there is mayhem up in the pilot cockpit, air, co cockpit area and Christians are sitting on the back. People are just sitting there doing nothing. Should we get involved? Uh, I think so. And uh, of course, you know, Christians, we're called to, for restoration, not condemnation. Somebody say amen. I'm going to tell you about that uh, on Sunday. We'll talk about the Christian's responsibility to vote. I was reading an article this morning. I'll read you really quickly. don't want to keep you long. But it was uh, Tony Evans, who I love. I think he's fantastic. And uh, he said, I love this. Can you listen to me? He said, kingdom voting is the opportunity and responsibility of committed Christians to partner with God by expanding his rule in society through civil government. It's only to the degree that you include God's person and God's policies in society through civil government, as he defines it, not as you prefer it, that we can begin to see healing in the church so that it can be modeled in the culture. I love that. Only, he said, to the degree that we include God's person and God's policies. Did you hear that? In our society through civil government that we can then see healing in the church and that will be modeled in the culture. I totally believe that. I totally believe in kingdom voting. I totally believe that we need to vote based on what the Bible says, based on what 
God says. Nobody cares about what Pastor Rodney thinks. And nobody cares about what you think. Outer amen. We have to care about what God says. Am I right about it? So let's talk about it. Why not? Let's talk about it on Sunday, okay? 10 a.m. Tell your friends. Um, like and share this video because uh, I think it will, Lord willing, be an interesting, informative, helpful sermon to uh, motivate the Christians to get involved. You know, I learned that in 2016, there were 25 million Christians who were registered who did not vote. 25 million Christian registered Christians who did not vote. So uh, we, we have to be involved in the process. And uh, at the same time, we know the Lord is coming back. But in the meantime, let us obey God, okay? So this coming Sunday, we'll talk about that. Don't forget contact tracing when you walk in the door. If you feel so led, did I mention that? If you feel so led, text us to that number and we'll know that you're here in the unlikely event that we need to contact you. And in the meantime, in between time, I'll see you on Sunday at 10 a.m. Like, share this video, and don't forget, pray for me as I always pray for you. Bye.